बोलिए श्री कृष्ण चंद्र भगवान की येस्टरडे द मेडिटेशन वी हैड डन वॉज वी वर बेदिंग श्री कृष्ण विथ पंचामृत बट वी डिड नॉट डू हिज ऑर्नमेंटेशन हिज श्रृंगार इन ग्रेट डिटेल सो लेट अस टूडे मेडिटेट दैट वी आर डूइंग द श्रृंगार द ऑर्नमेंटेशन ऑफ श्री कृष्ण ड्रेसिंग हिम आप ओके लाइक यू ड्रेस द डी टी एट होम सो वील ड्रेस अप श्री कृष्ण so close your eyes and think that the supreme lord shri krishna is in front of you he is yours and you are his and because of your love he is accepting your seva your service he is seated on a stool you are standing before him and you are feeling tremendous bliss in the presence of shri krishna you have just bathed him and you have made him wear a dhoti and put a cloth around his neck that is falling over his chest now you have taken a comb and you are combing shri krishna's curly hair you are using both your hand and the comb to unentangle shri krishna's hair to unruffle it and comb it and shri krishna is lovingly accepting your seva you get an opportunity to look into his eyes and his loving look encourages you further to serve him with great devotion but your goal is to make shri krishna happy so very carefully that he should not be hurt by the pulling of the hair you are combing his hair now you have placed a crown made of diamonds on shri krishna's head and put a peacock feather on top of it so he is a rasik shiromani he is he savors that divine bliss of love and although he could have had the most gorgeous crowns he prefers this crown of the peacock feather having placed it on him you are looking how nice shri krishna is looking with it you've taken it a little to one side slightly inclined and tied it at the back of his head so that it does not fall now you have taken some sandalwood some chandan and applied a tilak on shri krishna's large forehead a tika on his head Now you have taken kumkum powder reddish powder and you've applied it over that sandalwood a second tika on his head Now you had some earrings 
some golden colored earrings you are hanging these from shri krishna's ears putting another kind of ornamentation called besar between shri krishna's lips and his nose and putting a black spot on his forehead to drive away evil spirits although there is no question of any evil spirit influencing or overpowering shri krishna but it is your loving sentiment you are not looking on him as god you are simply looking on him as your beloved and with that tender feeling you wish to protect him so you put a black mark on his forehead now you've begun putting bead necklaces around his neck one very short necklace that goes straight around the neck made of diamonds another bead necklace that's hanging slightly lower and another necklace that goes even lower one more that goes even lower so covering shri krishna's chest are these varieties of necklaces that are sparkling with their splendor and a very special jewel called kaustub mani you have put it also around shri krishna's neck so it's directly over his chest now you had made a garland a special garland that shri krishna wears from the five flowers of the forest it is called one mala you have taken this one mala and put it around shri krishna and it's coming right up to his knees it's green colored with a variety of flowers including the tulsi leaf and that garland the aroma that is emanating from it has made the atmosphere even more divine and spiritual and in your heart you are thanking shri krishna for this opportunity to serve him with your eyes you are observing his divine form and feeling that unity with him from within that he is mine you have taken arm bands bazu band and you are tying it around the upper arms of shri krishna both the left arm and the right arm one at a time now you have taken some special bangles and you are putting them around shri krishna's wrists on both hands left hand and right hand now you have taken a reddish cloth and you are tying it around shri krishna's waist so that it covers his back side and in the front you tie a knot this is called kachni that goes over the dhoti
Now you've taken a string of little bells called kinkini and you are trying it around Sri Krishna's waist. On his feet, you are tying around them ankle bells around the ankles. So when Sri Krishna walks, these different ornaments will make a wonderful noise a run dhun dhuni, the ankle bells, little bells around the waist and the bangles around his arms. Now that flute of his, you have tucked it into his dhoti in the waist. And his favorite little black blanket you've put it over his right shoulder you have taken some tulsi leaves and placed them at the feet of Sri Krishna now having done this ornamentation you are bowing down in front of him in obeisance lying down on the ground before him having offered your obeisance you have sat down in front of him Shri Krishna is sitting on the chair before you now engage in contemplation of him in prayer to Him. Think of all the wonderful qualities that God, that Sri Krishna possesses. He is the source of all beauty. We are attracted to beauty in this world. All that is emanating from Sri Krishna. How beautiful He is. Let us develop the desire to see Shri Krishna rather than hankering for the beauty of the world. Repeatedly bring this thought to your mind on how beautiful God is. Think of his quality of mercy, how kind and compassionate he is. In so many different ways he's bestowed his grace on you. Since eternity he has sustained our personality sitting in our hearts, following us wherever we have gone. For nine months, when we were in the mother's womb, he protected us there. When we came out into the world, he kept this world ready for us. Air to breathe, water to drink, food to eat. This is all his grace upon us. And with his open arms, he is waiting for us to surrender to him. He is so anxious that he has manifested the Vedas to provide us with knowledge. And the Vedas are not sufficient. He sends his saints to teach us and instruct us and inspire us. And noting our previous sadhana, he turns our mind in his direction so that we develop the longing to attain him. So think how merciful and kind he is. Now 
Now if only we could surrender to him, what would he not do for us? Repeatedly think that you have a relationship with him. Because you are not this body, you are the soul. You are an eternal fragment of his divine power. So he alone is yours and you are his. Repeatedly think of this and develop the intense longing to attain his love and to serve him. Now pray to him to bestow his divine love upon you. Bolivar Nabhan Bihari Lal Ki